Dorian Thompson Robinson and his UCLA Bruins wrap up the 2019 spring here at Drake Stadium. They went 11 on 11 for about an hour. And Evan Moore, JB Long enjoyed the festivities. The second spring under Chip Kelly. What are your takeaways? Well, I thought Dorian Thompson Robinson had a really efficient day. He was 12 for 15, which is 80 percent. No touchdowns, threw an interception in the red zone. But that was a positive development. Found a number of guys down the field. But, J.B., on the other side of the ball, the defense, the linebacker position has been a challenge for this group. They've had a lot of attrition over the last few years, haven't been able to generate a pass rush. I thought they did a really good job of that today at the outside linebacker position, also inside with Chris Barnes and Tyree Thompson, both those guys making plays all day long. I think it was an encouraging day for the defense. Take a look at some of those DTR highlights. I'm impressed you're in midseason form doing air math to 80% completion percentage. <laughs> Yeah, like we said before, he's done a, they, they, they liked his pocket presence over the course of the spring, stepping up, making throws in the pocket, not being so quick to bail. And we saw a number of those more intermediate throws today. All of Theo Howard, Chase Cota, Devin Asiasi, the tight end, also Jordan Wilson, the tight end, and Dimitri Felton, Jalen Irwin. These guys all had big days, but it started with DTR looking really comfortable in the pocket, much more so than last fall firing the ball down the field, finding his targets with much more accuracy than we've seen in the past. Early enrollee freshman tailback Keegan Jones already climbing the depth chart. How about on the defensive side of the football? Well, he gets beat on this play, but the corner, Patrick Jolly, had a really nice day. He got beat on one deep ball. But overall, I thought he did a really good job of finding the football regularly. And we also talked about the linebackers, too. You saw a big physical play there from Tyree Thompson and the other linebacker, Chris Barnes. Those two, those two guys on the inside will hold things down nicely for the Bruins front seven. It's going to be a grueling non-conference and nine-game conference schedule as well. Well, once again, the non-conference. You look at Cincinnati, San Diego State, Oklahoma, and then their misses. This is favorable for them. In conference, the misses are Washington and Oregon. That will help them immensely this fall as they still try to adjust to having such a young roster. So kind of a tale of two parts here. You know, you look at the non-con, not favorable. You look at the, at the conference schedule, those are the misses you want to have in the North. So we'll see where it shapes up. I think the goal is to double the win count from a year ago and get the six wins. Still impressive how in just a year's time, UCLA has become a deeper, more cohesive group with a quarterback now at the helm, expected to start the opener in 2019 in Dorian Thompson-Robinson.